Hi everybody! Today's video and the next video I'll be publishing are going to be videos that I was requested to do or questions that people asked me because I thought they'd be nice short videos to get done. I could get them out and publish before the end of the month and it will make a bit of a change from the long videos that I've been doing lately. So here we go, this one is going to be how I use glitter glue in my colouring pages. So first of all I'll show you which glitter glues I actually have. I have a few of these kind of Dovecraft glitter glues. There's just a few of the ones that I have. And these are kind of, I think, comparable to stickles. You may have heard people mention they use stickles in their colouring. This is, I think, kind of along the same lines, although I don't have any stickles. I can't give you a, a, a personal review or anything. But yeah, these Dovecraft glitter glues are, as far as I can tell, the same kind of thing as stickles. So I'll be using those today. I also have, on the more budget end of the scale, I have these glitter glues more um, kids kind of brand glitter glues. These are actually from the works but there's a nice wide variety of colours there and the main difference between these ones and the Dovecraft ones, these Dovecraft ones are a lot more kind of concentrated, a lot more sparkly and they're thicker so you can actually make lines with them. These ones are not as thick so you can't really make lines with them but they still do give you a nice shimmer if you do want to use them and I have used them a lot before I before I got hold of these ones so yeah I am not disparaging these ones at any any way and I will use a couple of these just to show you the difference. This is the picture that I've coloured to show you how I use glitter glues in my colouring so this little bunny is going to be glittered up and it's going to be fun. All right I'll zoom us in and we'll get started. The first way that I can show you how to use glitter glue I'll be using this one the Dovecraft one and as I've said it's a lot thicker and you can actually make lines of it onto your colouring and I have used it to outline sun quite a lot because I think that works out quite well. I'm not sure how this will be showing on camera because glitter does have a tendency to not show very well on camera. There we go, you see I'm just following the outline of oh, the sun. And you can see this glue is quite thick and it's making a nice sparkly glittery line there. Hopefully that is showing up on the camera. Yes, we can see that. So let's, let's outline our sun with the gold. Okay, there we go, that's our sun done. We have applied this glitter here really thickly, so that's going to take quite a while to dry, so we're going to have to avoid putting our hands in it, which is probably the hardest part of using glitter glue, or in my mind anyway. And I think what we're also going to do is use it to make centres in the bunny's little flowers. So as you can see the paper doesn't really show through and once it is dry those will kind of just be glittery circles in the middle there. Sorry I might have gone off camera there I think but the same thing I did here just putting the, the dots of the glue in the middle of the flowers I have done for all the flowers on the bunny's little coat. So that is another thing you can do. Another way I like to use the glue is to apply it kind of sparingly to an area and kind of spread it out a little with my finger to give a more subtle kind of shimmer when you're not really wanting the whole area to be full of the glue. I'll show you what I mean here just on these clouds. A few blobs like that and before it dries, before moving on to another area, spread it out. There we go, it gives us a more subtle kind of shimmer to our clouds.
Let's move this up. There we go, that's my clouds. Hopefully that's showing up on camera. Can we see the sparkle there? Yeah, there we go, sparkling in the light. Just a subtle shimmer on the clouds compared to the fairly solid lines that we've got around the sun and the dots in the flowers. And that's using the Dovecraft glitter glue. And one last thing I would say about these ones is that when I can, I try and store them either upside down or at a kind of an angle because the nozzles on the end, they tend to get clogged sometimes if you leave it standing upright and you squeeze and like nothing comes out. But all that you need to do when that happens is just get a pin, something like this, and you just put it, put it down there just to clear it out and then wipe it off afterwards. And there we go. That's the Dovecraft glitter glue. But as I said, also, I have these glitter glue from the works. And the ones that I was going to sh show you with these is giving the bunny himself a little bit of glitter. So these ones, these ones are a lot more watery than Dovecraft glitter glue. So what I like to do with these is the method I just showed you of adding it sparingly and spreading it a little bit. Like you can see, it's a lot more watery. So this shimmer will be more subtle even than the shimmer that's on the clouds. I don't know if it's even showing up on camera, to be honest. But yes, these ones will make your page wrinkle a lot more than the Dovecraft glitter glue. One thing I haven't mentioned so far is that using any kind of glitter glue will give you a raised texture. So if you want to colour the page before, if, if you wanted to fold that back and colour that one, you would be getting like a, a texture underneath and it would affect your pencils if you wanted to use them. So uh, you'd have to put paper on top and quite a few pieces of paper to kind of cushion that a little bit and give you a better surface to work on. And also, because these glues are water-based, I think both, both sets are water-based. If you use them on top of any water-based media, like watercolour or Tombow or yeah, water-based markers like Crayola Super Tips, for example, it will reactivate the pigment. So just bear that in mind if, you know, if you're wanting to go on top of anything like that. In this picture, I have done the leaves. The leaves are actually shaded. These leaves are shaded with watercolour pencil, so I'm trying to avoid touching those if I possibly can. But yeah, I, I'm not sure this is showing up, but yeah. There we go, the bunny has a little bit of a subtle shimmer going on. Again, I'm not sure that the camera would pick it up, but yeah, you can sort of see there where I've put the glitter glue. Just in a few different places on the bunny. This white gel pen. That would also be reactivated if I put glitter glue on top of it. So if I wanted to give the flowers a little bit of a shimmer, I would have to avoid going where that white gel pen is. I just put it in a few little places.
There we go. If we wanted to be super extra, we could even put some into the background and why not? Choosing a shade that's close to the background colour would give like more subtle. If you choose a shade that's darker than the colour that you've already laid down, then the glitter glue will be more obvious and will stand out more. So hopefully this will be something close to the background shade and just be very, very subtle. Again, being careful not to touch the areas that are still drying. But I'm trying to do this quickly, so no time to leave for drying at the moment. Tree my gold. It's starting to dry by now. So not quite as long to dry as I thought, but if I do use glitter glue on a picture I tend to leave it out with the book open I leave it out overnight just to be sure because if you obviously if you close it before the glue is dry then your book will be stuck together which would be a bad thing let me get us back on camera this more watery glitter glue does tend to wrinkle the pages a lot but unfortunately you can't even if you're tempted to iron the page to flatten it out because that would reactivate the glitter glue and stick the pages together which is something I learnt the hard way so let me make the mistake so you don't have to there we go, last little bit just done the same for the whole background, a few little blobs of glue and spreading it out with my finger Obviously, afterwards, wash your hands. <laughs> it does tend to get a bit messy using your finger like that. There we go. I've zoomed us back out. I'm going to go and wash my hands and we'll wait for the glue to dry to see what we've ended up with. Okay, it's been an hour or two now and the glue is fairly dry. Although, to be safe, I will leave the book open and out overnight just to be sure. And you can see that the page is fairly wrinkly because of the glitter glue are a water based media, so it has wrinkled up the page. But what I would do to cope with that is to close the book once it's fully dry after I've left it overnight and leave it under a pile of heavy books just to try and flatten that out a little bit um, and you can see now that everything's dry you can see the difference between the two types of glitter glue and the different ways I've used it you can see going around the sun there we have our fairly solid lines of glitter glue from the Dovecraft glitter glue there which looks pretty cool and on the circles in the centre of the bunnies flowers there's the slightly more subtle effect of the the spread out glue in the clouds there a little bit of a sparkle there's a very subtle shimmer on the bunny you can see here just about catching the light yep there we go on his face yep on his little cheek that was actually a white coloured glitter glue, so that is a very subtle shimmer on the actual bunny. Onto the daffodils, this was a slightly darker shade, it was darker than the colour than was originally down, so that is showing up slightly more. And onto the background, I put it on quite sparsely, but you can see it sparkling there when it catches the light. There we go, yeah, there we go in that corner. So yeah, that's our finished picture of a very sparkly bunny. And that's how I use glitter glue in my colouring. So I hope you enjoyed that. Thanks for watching everybody. Take care, see you in future videos. Bye!